Introduction to Lab 4, Binary Conversions and Adders In this video, we'll discuss the binary conversion method used in digital electronics as well as the uses and applications of the different types of adders. In large circuits where it is impractical to create truth tables, we convert binary numbers to a binary coded decimal, or BCD. Each bit or number in the row of a truth table is assigned a value depending on the sequence and its position. The number furthest to the right is given a value of 1. The number to its left is given a value of 2 and then 4 and 8. Once values have been assigned to each bit, multiply the value by the bit and add all of the values together. The sum of the values is the binary coded decimal value. If the value of the sum is between 0 to 9, it is already in BCD format. If not, it must be converted. In digital circuitry, there are two components that add inputs. Half adders can be represented in multisim by a single component or can be created using an AND and an exclusive OR gate. They have two inputs and two outputs. The outputs are labeled S, SUM, and C, CARRY. Full adders can be represented by a single component in multisim or three exclusive OR gates and two AND gates. Full adders have three inputs, A, B, and C in, and two outputs, S, sum, and C out, carry. They are often arranged in a cascading fashion where the C out of one adder is connected to the C in of the following adder. In this lab, you will be building different types of adders using both chips and logic gates and verifying they work using binary coded decimal, BCD, format.